What's up, fellow hell divers? Hey, we got a quick thing that I want to add to the beginning of the podcast that you're going to normally get on Tuesdays. Um, some news just dropped that uh, the community manager Spitz, who we are all very familiar with at this point, uh, is no longer working with Arrowhead. He has been, I'm assuming, terminated from the role of community manager, if not completely from the company, uh, due to the events of the last four days. Um, I just wanted to say that as far as we're concerned, that was never the intention of what we did over the last four days of, of, of spouting back against uh, connecting our Steam accounts to Sony and PSN networks and, and, and having Steam and Sony remove the, the game from 177 countries. The fight that we had was not about these community managers. Now, during that period of time, people had altercations with these guys that could have been more professional. They've already admitted that. They've already apologized for these things. So why was he fired? Um, I think there's probably a multiple different possibilities. In my opinion, I just wanted to get this out there, and I think Vader agrees with me on this, um, is that I think he was let go because he was the one who pointed the community back to Steam, back to the negative reviews, back to the refunds. Because he literally said, I mean, we talked about this before, he said, hey, don't come to Discord and complain to us because we, we can't make any of these decisions. Your complaints are going unheard. If you want to be heard, you have to take it to Steam. You have to do the negative reviews. Leave a negative review and ask for a refund. And hundreds of thousands of people did that. Um, and so what I think probably happened is somebody had to be held accountable for um, the, the mass refunds and the, the review bombing that happened on Helldivers because of the PSN stuff. And I think Sony was like, well, who is going to be the one responsible who's going to be held responsible for this. And I think it landed squarely on this uh, Spitz. The, <laughs> I hate saying his name. Um, it, it landed squarely on his lap. Like, hey, you were the one who told all these people to do this. They did it. It put Sony in a, between a rock and a hard place. It put Sony against the wall. And they responded by saying, okay, fine, it's optional. Um, I don't think they wanted to do that. I think they were put in that position. And I think they're blaming Spitz for doing that very thing, for pointing the community in that direction. I don't personally, something had to be done. Obviously, repercussions are going to be divvied out amongst the community managers. We don't know exactly what happened to the other community managers who have had you know, bad interactions with the community itself. Um, I, I've heard multiple different stories from other people. I don't know what's happening to them. What we know right now is that Spitz no longer works uh, as a community manager for Arrowhead on, on the Helldivers Discord. And I think that's a bit of a bummer. Honestly, um, because ultimately he was the one who was communicating to the community that what actually needed to be done. And it, he was right. Don't, don't go to Discord. They're not going to care. Go to Steam. Request refunds. Leave bad reviews. That's where, it's gonna, that's where your, your might is going to be felt the most. Uh, he wasn't wrong. I, I, that was exactly what needed to be done. We did it, and we got the result that we wanted. So as a fan of the game and as somebody who who was pushing for Sony to leave the PSN linking optional. Uh, I, I think we owe Spitz a little bit of gratitude for saying, yep, you pointed us in the right direction. We got what we wanted. Thank you. Uh, but that landed this guy out of a job, and I don't like that. Um, there, there's, there's other accu accusations flying around about some of the other community managers who, I, in my opinion, are far worse than what happened with, with, between Spitz and uh, telling people to go you know, leave bad reviews and stuff. Um, that's one thing, but there's other things happening with other people that I think is far, far more nefarious than that. So it's a bit of a weird thing. Um, I feel bad for the guy. It's not what I personally would have wanted for him. I know other people are going to disagree with me um, because he, at times he was unprofessional, but I'm trying to take this as a, you know, give the guy a ben the benefit of the doubt. I wouldn't want to be in charge of a, of a almost a million strong discord channel trying to navigate that process, uh, that would be extremely difficult. I don't want that job. Uh, he enjoyed that job. He did a okay job at it, I guess, if you want to say, you know, he had some bad moments, but he's admitted that, which is another big thing, uh, that makes me feel like this is, I, I want to lean in his favor is like he, he admitted that he made some mistakes. He spat it off. He had an attitude, but he fixed it and he moved forward and he got the community, the results that they wanted as far as I'm concerned. Um, so that's it. It's a sad day. I don't want that to be happening. Comment below your thoughts on, on if you think it was Sony's decision, because that's what I think. I think Sony was like, look, he's the one who did all this. He's the one who pointed these people towards us. He, the, the blame is going to land on his lap. 
I think that's what happened. Comment below. Let us know. Do you have a different side of the story? Do you have more information than we might? Um, yeah, that's it. Now we're going to transition over to our normal podcast where we talk about the war bonds and all a bunch of other stuff. So enjoy the show. Thanks so much, guys. See ya. Welcome back, Helldivers, to the Salt Dive Podcast. This is the podcast that you go to for the latest and greatest in the Helldivers game play. Start joined, as always, That's right. by the salute. My, my buddy, Matt Vader, over here. Hey. We just got a quick match in. We did. It's good stuff. We've got a lot to cover today, guys, so we're going to be rapid firing this stuff. We've got a quick drama recap for the past weekend. A lot has happened and a lot has been said, and there's still some drama going on between PC players and, and Sony players for some reason. Is there? I yeah. see things, but I think yeah. it might be just people trying to drum up more controversy. I see, I see YouTubers going, those two stupid PC players. <laughs> I see people <laughs> mad at us. It's like, what did we PC do? Play, like, we just helped like, you out. We like, just saved the game. Dude. Just relax, man. Just play chill, the game. Chill. <laughs> relax. Good. Uh, we've got a new major order. And also, if you hang out to the end of the podcast, we will be covering the Polar Patriot War Bond that is coming out on the 9th. So I think... Day after tomorrow? Day after tomorrow. Yes. Two days away is the Polar Patriot War Bond. We also have a brand new patch that just dropped today uh, with I, a bunch of buffs to some weapons and uh, some fixes to some major issues that we've been having. I think, uh, I think I'm going to have to drop a 10 spot. <laughs> well, to get the uh, actually, bond. that's a great segue, man. <laughs> um, so in support of Arrowhead, like so another thing that I wanted to talk about, too, is the fact that the Helldiver community in mass has turned all of the negative reviews back up into well, positive reviews. It's, it's, it's moving back up, but yeah, we're back. There's, we're there's back into. Are, there's some people that aren't going to change it. Some, some, but we're back into the uh, mostly or over, overwhelmingly positive. I'll have, to, I'll have to check it out. Yeah, I posted it on our YouTube. Uh, really? Yeah, it was a community post. I do those now. It's really back up to overwhelmingly it's, positive. It is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I know, dude. We banged that's it out. Crazy. It's <laughs> awesome. Um, that's a, that's a great thing from the community. I, I love the fact that we were like, we were true to our word. We're like, yeah, we'll fix this when you fix yeah. the game. And they're like, we fixed the game. We're like, okay, cool. We'll, we'll fix those. Right. I think it's, uh, I think it's time to move past the, I think the I'm weekend's done with it. drama. Yeah. I'm done with it. I'm, you know? I'm ready to move on, which, uh, what, but I did want to mention that Arrowhead has officially announced through the CEO of the company that they are actually going to make a cape out of the graph from I'm gonna, Steam. I'm going to wear the crap out and of it. And I'm going to wear the absolute crap out of it. Because it's a thing. really cool design. It is so dope. It really looks good. If, if I mean, the one that I showed you guys, I found it on Twitter, uh, on one of the Helldiver Twitter accounts. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's, it's official. It might just be like a, a, a mock-up. But it looked freaking badass. Like, it looked really, really cool. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what they come up with it. It's a mostly positive. I'm Mo is it mostly right positive? Mostly positive. Oh, that's still better than 72 mostly 72% of 612,000 reviews. Oh, another number stat that I just heard today? The, really the official uh, Helldivers Discord has a million people on it. Nice. That is insane. I mean... Can you imagine a million people talking to four devs no. and yelling at them? No. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 they need they, they need they, more devs they need, they need to get rid of at least two of the ones that they have now and get like five and hire good like, ones and hire like a dozen more yeah yeah. and let's not hire them off of reddit mods <laughs> is that what they do that they, yeah they, these really? guys are I think they're all former reddit mods it's like mm. Mm. reddit <laughs> don't do that no come on um <laughs> It's like it's like hiring people from 4chan to run your freaking yeah. bulletin board. So I mean there's there <laughs> I, I just said bulletin board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a little old. I'm like I'm old guys. You're dating yourself. Yesterday you Message said you got, <laughs> yesterday you said you got you got coupons. Yeah, coupons on the mail. On the mail. <laughs> <laughs> like, Who the fuck gets coupons on the mail? I know. Sorry, I'm old. Um, gray. Look at all this gray hair. Yeah. But the, the mods <laughs> the, the mods have been... Uh, so the one that people had the most problems with, apparently there was some... I don't follow the controversy as much as other people do. So there's probably YouTube videos out there explaining yeah. the whole situation. But uh, one of the mods has been demoted <laughs> from yeah. like community manager yeah. to like just... Senior a to regular. Yeah, senior something. to like just like, okay, we're going to put you back in your place a I'm, little I'm bit. sure we're, our titles Stop are wrong. Stop telling people that they've sexually assaulted others for no some, reason. Somebody in the comments are like, well, actually, well, his, actually. his title was this. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's this. I'm you sorry. Dumb sons of bitches. <laughs> like, okay. Sorry. I'd rather just demoted. Uh, 
It's like, I'd rather right. just play the game and not care. Yeah. That's what I'd rather do. Yeah. I don't really like covering the drama stuff. <laughs> but um, And another good thing, I, I saw this on Twitter from the CEO um, of Arrowhead. He said he got, they, somebody sent them flowers to the, uh, yeah, to that the was nice. CEO of plays. It was, was nice. sweet. It was, it was a nice bouquet of flowers. Yeah, it was a nice bouquet. Yeah. <laughs> we should have done that. It's like, <laughs> sorry guys. I would have sent them like a box of edibles and be like, just chill out, guys. <laughs> yeah, get them arrested. What what is the what is their uh the law in Sweden? Oh, I don't know. Actually, that's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> to go to hang out in Amsterdam or something. Yeah. Um, so that's basically it for the drama over the weekend. I mean, I, I don't really want to get super into it, but it the the movement has passed. We succeeded, we're playing the game, everybody's back to normal. Yeah. The steam reviews are back, everybody's chilling out. Uh, we're going to get some cool new cosmetics. We're going to get some cosmetics nice. for, for being. I love cosmetics. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. But I have, I missed like four days of play. I so did, I'm yeah. like really behind in my, in my gathering of things. So yeah. like you said, um, I, I'm going to have to shell out a shell. I'm going to have to put out a 10 spot for, yeah. for this war bond, which I, I don't mind doing. It's, it's $10. It's I normally, so you know me, I will grind out super credits yeah. and yeah. use those to buy the war bonds. But because of all this controversy and everything that happened and, and how it all turned out, I'm actually going to spend the money. I want my stuff to buy the new one. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about the, the new, I, I guess we it might as well segue over to that. Okay. Um, the Patriot. Sure. The Patri uh, Polar, Polar Patriot War Bond. Yeah. Trailer dropped a couple of days ago. Uh, this is coming out on the 9th. I will be buying it to support Arrowhead. Oh, I'll be purchasing it with actual money. Um, so there's a bunch of different Arbor types. Yeah. I had it pulled up. I'm going to have to. I got it right here. Do you have the, it? Uh, there's the uh, armor. is a CW36 Winter Warrior Armor and Helmets. Comes with the servo-assisted passive, granted extra throwing range, and limb health. Oh, that's, that's the that? one. So, <laughs> okay. What's what the do you think of that one? What are you the the CW22 Kodiak Armor and Helmet comes with the fortified passive, providing 50% more damage, resistance to explosive, and further reduces recoil when crouched or prone. We have that on. I always forget right? to crouch and prone. I'd never I shoot know. that Well, way. we're on the move some. I, I never do yeah. it. I never do it. Yeah. And then there's the uh, CW4 Arctic Ranger armor and helmet, which comes with the scout passive, which allows markers placed on the mini map to generate radar scans and reduces enemy detection range for the wearer by 30%. Okay. That's like something you'd probably wear, right? Uh, from if I'm if I'm doing a solo play, yeah, yeah, I'll use the scout because yeah. it helps me kind of sneak around a little bit more. But I, what I want to know, what I really want to know, so you're on Ice Planet and you, uh -huh. when you're running on ice, you kind of slide around a little bit. Mm -hmm. I want to know because these armors have cleats on the boots. Oh, do we get better traction? I want to know if you get better traction. That'd be cool. That'd be a dope passive. It's yeah. like just better snow movement in general. Because you know when you got that knee high snow and you're just yeah, like, charging through it. I you, I you literally get tired watching my guy <laughs> walk through. Waste high snow. snow. It sucks. It I, does. I feel it. It's it does. like you know. I, I grew up Magic in Southern it. Oregon. We go up and up to the snow all the time. Imagine so getting chased by I know a what, Titan. Like, I know what trudging feels through like. Snow. Like, ah, it uh, sucks. I hate so, snow. I hate mountains. I don't, I don't. It's like camping. It's like it's lame. <laughs> I wonder how difficult it is for them to to introduce new passives for the armor because I'm yeah. I was I was really expecting with this bit of of uh, war bond. I thought they were going to have some like snow planet passives. Like yeah. resistance to snow travel. Mm -hmm. You're a little bit faster. Um, I don't know. Your character doesn't get cold. These so. are these are the same same bonuses they get with the normal armor. <laughs> yeah, we right? have all these bonuses already. They're just so just, basically it's just, just cosmetics. Cosmetic stuff. Yeah. Do you want to look like a snow trooper on planet Hoth? Kind of. Eh, okay. Yeah, I kind of do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got some new some new weapons. I'm going to yeah. run through these real quick. Okay. The AR61 Tenderizer. <laughs> I like it. That's a good name. A uh, high caliber assault rifle with small magazine. Sounds awful a lot like the adjudicator from Democratic Demolition. Okay. So we're, we're getting some repeats, but maybe just like yeah. slightly different. The SMG 72. Now, SMGs are underrated. Submachine uh, gun. Submachine gun. Yeah. SMG. Our, our boy Don has been practicing with the ballistic shield and the SMG. Mm -hmm. And okay. we've come up with a, him and I have come up with a strategy where him will play just the two of us. We'll do a, a duo a mm -hmm. little bit and we'll do a shield wall. Well, he'll have the ballistic oh, nice. missile. He'll crouch with his submachine gun, oh, and I'll be above him with a with a regular machine gun, and we'll just move forward into like oh, a group I gotta, of Oh, I got to get in on some of that. Dude, it's badass. Yeah, we can do it's like, badass. we get three or four white shields. Yeah, if you get four people, you can get two two shields and two guys in the back. We do the this is Sparta thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty dope. Take from know. them everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, dude? Yeah. Good stuff. I mean, that's, that's the kind of cool stuff, I guess, you can yeah. figure out how to do with these different things. Yeah. I mean, that's what, that's what, you know, I think that's what they want. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, they want that team. We're going to give aspect. you all this different shit. I want to see what you can come up with. And right. Use right. And that, yeah. unless we cheat and then they take it away from us. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what, is, is it cheating to make No, it's not. Or, no, it's not cheating, but they might 
like I feel like when we find out that something is like super overpowered, like the Quasar Cannon, they're like, oh, we got to uh, we got to yeah, turn it down. A couple we got to turn that down yeah. a little bit. <laughs> Damn <laughs> you! <laughs> yeah, uh, we've got the uh, Plasma One Hundred and One Purifier. Uh, that can sounds, be charged that up to, troublesome. Yeah, it can be charged up to fire shots with increased damage, and so it's kind of like a like a can be used to set um, traps. How does that work? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. So that sounds like the. Um, I guess we're gonna find out the when rail, the, when the dailies like kill one hundred people using or kill one hundred bugs, bugs with a trap using the purifier. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. Uh, let's see the uh, P one one three verdict semi automatic pistol. All right, we have one of those. Uh, G thirteen incendiary impact. This is what I'm buying it for. I don't care. Yeah. About anything else, I want those incendiary impact rifles. So those are the, the white the phosphorus impact grenades stuff, right? That's it's like so they're basically fire grenades. Yeah. Fire grenades, but impact. So Dude, it's instant. You're gonna kill me. So I'm gonna kill so many people. It's gonna be it's, ridiculous. It's, it's it's gonna be insane. It's like, <laughs> God dang it! It's gonna be the biggest. Why'd you throw your grenade? Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> do you know how many times I've killed myself with an impact grenade? You've killed just, me multiple. Just times. by throwing it and be like, oh, I was a little too close. Sorry, to that. <laughs> sorry, guys. My bad. My bad. <laughs> My bad, guys. <laughs> but then Christ will come behind me and freaking shoot me with a plasma pistol or something <laughs> like that. By accident. Oh, sorry, yeah. man. Sorry. It, it happens, dude. It happens. You gotta yeah, just roll with it. I, I was watching the uh, the animated video they sent out of all this stuff, and that that grenade looks it's immediately uh, piqued my interest. I'm yes. Like, oh, I guess I'm spending ten dollars after all. Yeah, that looks fun. Yeah, I like it. So, so that's the Polar Patriot uh, War Bond coming out on the ninth. We will be checking that out definitely, and uh, I'll probably make some videos just kind of exploring what these weapons. What's do. the What's the new emote? There's three uh, new is emotes. there an, oh there's, there's a three uh, new emotes. electric guitar call the hell divers distribute ballots and mime instrumentation that's yes, the that's the air guitar that's the bill and ted that's bill and ted and then i know distribute ballots is like making it rain yeah with money that's kind of good i like that i like one. that one too yeah i have mine set on random because i like to see what yeah. it does uh, but these are good the air guitar one's worth it as well being living in las vegas like we do we should appreciate the make it rain more than more than we do. More than most. <laughs> you know, we could you could go down here and buy like making it rain like guns. We can put like straps of dollar bills, go to the yeah. stores. Just card dispensers. <laughs> just like, yeah. Just make it shoot. You know, the stripper girls love that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what they're for. <laughs> Vegas locals here, folks. Uh okay. So that's that's do you, is there anything else you want to cover? Um the, the well, we, we've got there's so there's some there's a, some capes. Yeah, I don't. Um, I mean, the case booster cool. motivational shocks. I need this one explained to me. What is that? Reduces the slowing effects of getting hit by terminated bile. Oh, and really? other slowing effects, except for electromagnetic stuns. Okay, it's not clear exactly how this Hell Divers Two booster works or how effective it is, but we'll test so it out. Okay, this is um, we're reading. So just, just we're. This is from the Games Radar article, just so everybody okay. knows. But so that sounds exceptionally good because I hate it when when you get spewed on. And you can't run away, mm -hmm. and you're like slowed down. If that eliminates that effect, if you is that what that does? That's what that does. Okay, cool. I was you know I just, like I just experienced that just a few. It minutes sucks, ago. doesn't it? Yeah. It when sucks. the hunters like flick you with their tongue and you can't move. Yeah, it's terrible. And then you launch a freaking eagle strike and I die. <laughs> trying to get out, man. Get out of the way. <laughs> it's like, oh, Jesus. you were gonna die anyway. Yeah, I guess I was. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> just cutting out the middleman. <laughs> it's like sacrificed now the, the war bond looks dope i'll uh i'll buy the crap yeah. out of that for sure and uh we've got some new major orders so this is interesting because we've always been worried about like what the narrative for this yeah i haven't is. had a chance to really like so it's yet. basically the 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 tower spore things that we've shut down mm -hmm. they have effectively increased bug count on several so we, we got the last major order where we had to go disable all those that's towers, done right that's yeah done. that's done now we have to go and liberate like five planets it's like there's a new section on the map yes yeah, on both sides that I noticed that's they're, and they're getting closer to Super Earth. Yes, they are. That's not good. So these are new planets um, that we're looking at right now. Right. So we have to liberate four planets, but they've mentioned twice in the major orders that Meridia is like so badly infested with bugs that you literally can't jump in. It's just impossible. Is that it's, the planet we were just on? No, no. Oh. no. Um, that's the planet that I think what we're gonna happen is we're gonna move our way to Meridia. Oh, we're gonna have okay. to liberate Meridia. And I think. I don't have any proof so of this. So infested with bugs, we can't even get. We can't on. even get on. Why don't we just blow the planet? Nuke up? it because it's a planet and it's ours. And freedom and democracy first. Um, Nuke we're gonna it orbit. <laughs> call it good. <laughs> we're gonna get on there. I'm sure there's some reason why we have to go down. Why don't we have nukes on our ships that we can? Why do we have? To, why do we guys have to go down to the planet and go do 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 on the thing and launch a missile? Because well, we can, maybe they can't can see. Not launch missiles off of. Off they the can't see. We have, it's the it's the pinpoint accuracy that they need. 
right? If we throw an orb and it shoots Dude, a laser up. we can launch pods <laughs> and hit within feet of where we're standing. And we can't launch a nuclear missile from our ship. Are you breaking the game right now? I think I am. Shut up and play. <laughs> <laughs> I, want to, I want nukes, please. <laughs> yes. Well, nukes from orbit. Let's make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> like real ones. Not, not the mini nukes that you get from the uh, yeah. artillery shells. I'm just kidding. My theory is that once we get to Meridia, that's where we're going to see the hive masters or whatever they're called. Those, those sandworm type things. Yeah. Remember the skeletons that you saw the other day? Well, I, the I saw a giant rocks infested with like these there's like the like the big yeah. claw things yeah those are gonna be an enemy that we have to fight at some point awesome and i that's, think it's, that's i can't wait i think it's gonna be on meridia nice i can't wait for the next bot war because i want to go back to the bot yeah fight. you like killing bots. i don't yeah the bugs are kind of like yeah it's fine it's fine yeah but i don't know that's what i think i think we're gonna see those big bugs the, the skeletons that we've been seeing when is the uh I think we're gonna see them on meridia. the illuminate coming in i don't know i don't know everybody keeps talking about it the uh I, no, there's no word on it as, at all. There's some leaks. It's like the Illuminati. Is that where they yeah. got that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it's Sweet. all part. And we can have like a... It's all uh, tinfoil hat time. Yeah. I, I, can, <laughs> I can come up with all kinds of fun names for enemies with that. Yeah. Um, okay. So we had, a, we had a major patch drop today, uh, which was fantastic, just in time, uh, which one of our friends is very excited about. We're going to cover some of that. We got some balances. So they, they fixed a bunch of issues with people... Uh, Wait crashing is this, like is that. This it's, on, help, it's on our discord does this help the people that don't like being told to get better no play better get, no get gooder get good <laughs> get good learn, <laughs> learn to play learn to code uh, more. <laughs> patch 01000302 just came out today uh, and they fixed my gun the eruptor nice they fixed the eruptor they've increased the explosion damage by 40 and they removed the shrapnel from the explosion uh, this is to avoid cases in which players would randomly one-shot themselves on their or their teammates in a huge radius around the explosion. I've had that happen. Yeah. Uh, I just got better at the I gun. Think, I think I've died from that. Yeah, you've probably, I've probably, probably shot you with yeah. one of these things. <laughs> I die a lot from you guys. <laughs> you're, always, was, you're always in the way. <laughs> yeah, I, I am kind of in the way. <laughs> you, you, you go straight into the war, into the war zone. I'm and, like, let's and, go! And me, <laughs> me and Don are on the outskirts. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, where are you going, Matt? <laughs> Killing some bugs. <laughs> I want to throw an eagle strike down there. Yeah. Fucking do it. Let's go. <laughs> we had we had Dawn right on top of your mech like a freaking like a horse yeah, and you yeah, were yeah. just charging into the war zone. <laughs> he didn't last very he long. He didn't last very long. Like right in a bucking bronco. It was hilarious. It's kind of funny though. It's like, really? Um, hey, can you like get on top of this thing and we can like go run around? Yeah, we can figure that out. Yeah, let's just try it. Jump on top. I <laughs> fell. I got crushed. Yeah. <laughs> that would be really cool. Make it like a weird troop transport. There's there's <laughs> videos out there. There's videos out there that random uh, vehicles have been showing up on maps, like yeah. warthogs and stuff that you can jump onto. And, I've like, seen drive. a bug where you can like land your help pod on top of a a uh, robot dropship. Really? Have you seen that? No, on yeah. top of the dropship. Yeah. What yeah, happens yeah. when it flies away? I, I don't know. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it was crazy. I mean, I've landed on top. It was of, like, like tanks. completely fluke thing. But yeah. wow, that's cool. I don't know. It's out there. Yeah. I want to go back to bots, man. They're so much more fun. Aww. They're drop ships and they got tanks. <laughs> Stupid chargers. Yeah. I get you. They're fun. Uh, okay, so we've got a bunch of gameplay fixes, which we're not going to go super in-depth into, but they've uh, one of the major ones that I want to talk about is they have fixed the issue with the way damage over time effects were being applied. This should fix issues where only the network session owner or the host of the game could apply them in other cases where they would be applied inconsistently. So here, a good example is um, your flamethrower, your napalm strikes, and your gas strikes. If you weren't the host of the game, say if you mm -hmm. weren't on your own ship, like my Spear of Freedom, yours is the Sword of War, uh -huh. if you're the ship owner, your damage over time for flames and gas strikes worked, but mine didn't. Oh. So if we both brought, both brought a flamethrower, yours would work better than mine. Because that's weird. It was the host. The ho for some reason, it was attached to who was hosting the game. So they've so since weird fixed how that. Code works. I know, right? Yeah. So now we, if anybody and everybody on the team, the the four squad, we can all bring flame and and gas strikes up, and mm -hmm. it will all should work as intended. I ran into a bug today playing a game where I threw a gas strike down on top of a bug hole, mm -hmm. and I didn't get any kills. I watched. Yep. I was watching them die, but I didn't get any kills counted towards me. I, there was no kill streak. Um, like there normally is. So I'm wondering if there's still a little bit of issue there. It's definitely working better than it used to, but there's something happening where I'm not getting the uh, points allotted to me. But it could have been a fluke because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we'll, who knows? 
Well, that was the major one that I want to talk about. Is there anything on here that that caught your interest besides um, that? No, not really. I okay. mean, it just looks like uh, uh, your standard patch where they're fixing a few little balance issues, yeah. and little things here and little things there. Yeah, no problem. No, no issues here from me on this. So, um, we just recently, as of this morning, got an update uh, from the official Discord on the PSN login stuff. If you want to, you want to go over that real quick. We can. Um, uh, yeah, go ahead. So this is a direct message from Hell Divers. Uh, we don't have any updated information about the linking account linking yet, particularly of any related to players outside of PSN regions. So, from what I've heard, is on. It's on Valve's side because Valve is the one who took it off the market for those countries who don't have PSN. Mm -hmm. um, but I think if you purchase the game and you never got a refund for it, you still can play the yeah, game. Yeah, I did read where the game still works for those It people. still works for those people. It's just for some reason the Steam store isn't showing it up in those regions. But I'm, I'm assuming they're going to fix it because Steam didn't give a shit about the I hope, PSN I stuff. I hope so. Yeah, they're going to fix that. It might be out of Steam's. I no, I think it is their so. thing because it's their store. So they would lock the regions out. But I think they're going to, I think they'll unlock it. I don't think it's on Arrowhead, and I honestly don't. I, I feel think real terrible for those people that are in the countries that aren't able to purchase it. Yeah, but how many people in Chad are playing Hell Divers? I don't know. I want that one dude on my team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess the Philippines got hit with this. Yeah, Philippines. There's a bunch you of a bunch of countries and territories that got hit, but hopefully it'll be back I, up. I look at the map and I go, does Does Africa even have internet? <laughs> Most. It's of like it the does. entire continent just blacked out. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> It's a so from what I've read, and I'm not an expert on I'm this. Sorry, I shouldn't say stuff like that, but I can't help it. From what I've read, <laughs> I can't help but do it. Papua New Guinea, they have internet. Oh like, man, that's weird. It's a little, <laughs> I'm not. Stop making me go. I know. <laughs> Beast man or uh, Mr. They got, Mr. Beast has to go give them all water. They got wells. They got Tesla links though. <laughs> what's what's the Tesla? Oh yeah, Starlink. Starlink. They, Starlink. they got Starlink though. They Elon Musk will come save the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. Uh, to uh, I'm going to continue this here. Uh, to clarify, and per Sony's earlier statement, mandatory account linking will not be going forward. There are still going to there are still ongoing discussions between parties about the details and. And we at Arrowhead acknowledge and respect that it will take some time to sort these out. We therefore kindly ask for you, our cherished community, hardcore hell divers and precious players, to try and be patient as well. As soon as we learn more, we will keep you up to date. I feel like they're going to get it worked out. So that brings up a question is like, what is actually, what is the recourse? What is Sony going to do now? If they lost this one, like, okay, you don't want to link your PSN accounts? Fine, but we're going to make you do I think, this. I think instead. they're going to be making exceptions for this game. Really? Because they weren't upfront about everything with this game. They were there was some so dicey just, language and the FAQs. Yeah. They changed stuff after the fact. You, you know, um, but you know, going forward, you know, like the, there's this thing coming up with Ghosts of Tsushima or whatever. Yes, like, I, I keep hearing about that. People are commenting you, about people it. People are people are like, are you going to do the same thing with that game? It's like, well, they probably are going to enforce it, but they're being way more upfront about what they're requiring with yeah. this game. Yeah, you know that that wasn't the case with 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 hell and, and it, it comes down to the player base i don't yeah. play that game yeah i don't uh, so if the player base is is ravenous enough like the hell divers are yeah and they push back on it then maybe something will happen. again i hope they don't i, I don't believe in this data collection this data collection that's all it is crap because that's yeah. that's what it's for yeah it's just data collection so uh i, I feel like they're going to find some kind of work around so we do have to stay vigilant i think we have to keep an eye on things and make sure that mm -hmm. everything's on the level um, but who knows? We'll, but as far as Helldivers goes, I think they're going to just let that make it so people can play the yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah. At least on PC. Uh, there's a one last paragraph. It says, furthermore, while we have your attention, we're approaching 1 million users on their Helldivers Discord, which is freaking insane. That's, that's pretty um, pretty wild. It's impossible. And I think it's impossible to keep up with. I think with there's only like four that. devs. Four or five uh, is what I've I, heard. I don't know. Maybe. There's like Twin know. Beard Spitz, uh, Baskinator. Baskinator, and like one other dude. That got demoted. Demoted. Like demoted guy. <laughs> uh, okay. So, yeah. Uh, that means that any topic with a large general interest, there are hundreds, sometimes thousands of mentions and DMs aimed at us, community managers and moderators during the workday. Mm -hmm. We can't reply to it all. If we see a lot, a warm thank you for, a warm thank you for your everlasting support in the game of the game and, and for believing in us at Arrowhead. Equally important, however, is trying to be respectful to each other and to our colleagues as well. The last few days have been challenging for everyone. No matter to whom you're uh, writing or what you're commenting on, remember there's a person on the other side. 
With so many people here, we're bound to have different opinions. We all make mistakes and we all learn from them. That's as it should be in life. When possible, discussion is always a better option than arguing. True. I agree. That is 100%. That is, that is 100% true. And it is just such 100% a corporate yes. chili bullshit yeah. statement. Yeah. It, but it's also true. It, it, but it's also true. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, totally get it. Yeah, yeah. We ventured into the storm yeah. together and we'll come out as one. I like that. Happy yeah, hell diving. Yeah, yeah. I, I dig it, man. Yeah. I don't have a problem with these people. I mean, they've some people stepped in some mud. Some people said some things they shouldn't have yeah. to. But I think when you're talking about having to deal with hundreds of thousands. You know, some of them, one of them, at least one of them got slapped down a little bit. It's like, yeah. cool your shit. Cool it, cool it man. Moving on. Yeah. I'm just here to play the game. But I will say that the general chat in Helldivers Discord is impossible it's, to keep up. It's impossible to keep it up. You cannot impossible. you cannot do it. Everybody's yeah. giving a salute, yeah. gif, and gif. Oh, gif, the celebration went on for like six uh, hours. Oh, yeah. The other day. Yeah. I just kept an eye on it. And it was just salute, 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 salute. It was impossible. Yeah. It was crazy. But anyway, that's the that's the big update for the day. Uh, this is, a, what, episode three for us? For, yeah. For the official show? Yeah, yeah. that's a good segue, too. Yeah. Um, um, but we're going to be doing some other segments like we have been. Uh, I kind of like doing the emergency broadcast stuff. Yeah, it was, it was kind of fun. So I'm you, continue you, blew, you blew things up, brother. I did. I did. You blew things up. And, that was a fun um, one. We had a, you, you put that video out, and this was the day before mm -hmm. everything got fixed. fixed. And um, people were pissed. Yeah. I mean, this 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 thing's in, like, national, like, headline news. It's I'm in like, Forbes. Yeah. I mean, well, <laughs> Forbes has all kinds. They put stuff about the updates. Yeah. But um, you made that video, and, man, the interest for in all of this drama was just insane. Yeah. And our little... 200 person channel at the time you you it got 30 almost 30,000 views that's pretty cool that's, that's insane that's, that's cool. crazy and we need to say thank you to everybody for yeah for coming in and watching that and and we need to say a double thank you you know a salute thank you very much for the uh, 300 or so people that have that subscribed, subscribed yeah, to the channel. Cool. We're up over 500 people, 515 as of this moment. Yep. So stay tuned, guys. We do live streams where we live stream us playing the game. That's mostly where we get our clips from. If you see our mm -hmm. clips during our episodes, uh, and then uh, we'll do we'll do some extra stuff on the side. I've got a couple ideas for some content that I want to make about how to use different weapons properly, best strategies for this type of map, yada yada yada, those mm -hmm. kind of things. I'm looking forward to making that. So please stay, stay subscribed. Make sure to check out our previous episode in one of these corners. And uh, <laughs> thank you so much. See you on the other side.